So we have two examples here of someone trying to find the derivative of an expression. Or on the left-hand side, it says Avery tried to find the derivative of 7 minus 5x using basic differentiation rules. Here is her work. And on the right-hand side, it says Hannah tried to find the derivative of negative 3 plus 8x using basic differentiation rules. Here is her work. And these are two different examples from differentiation rules exercise on Khan Academy. And I thought I would just do them side by side because we can kind of think about what each of these people are doing correct or incorrect. So these are similar expressions. We have a constant and then we have a first degree term, a constant and then a first degree term. So they're going to take the derivative. So let's see. Step 1 for Avery. She took she's separately taking the derivative of 7 and separately taking the derivative of 5x. So this is the uh, my spider sense is already going off here because what happened to uh, this negative right over here? So it would have made sense for her to do the derivative of 7. And she could have said minus the derivative of 5x. That's one possibility that she could have done. The derivative of a difference is equal to the difference of the derivatives. We've seen that property. Or she could have said the derivative, she could have said this is equal to the derivative of 7 plus the derivative with respect to x of negative 5x. These two things would have been equivalent to this one. But for this one, she somehow forgot to uh, include the negative. So I think she had a problem right at step one. Now, if you just follow her logic after step one, let's see if she makes any more mistakes. So she takes the derivative of a constant. So a constant isn't going to change with respect to x. So that makes sense that that derivative is 0. And so we still have the derivative of 5x. And remember, uh, it should have been negative 5x or minus the derivative of 5x. And let's see what she does here. So that 0 disappears. And now she takes the constant, she takes the constant out. And that's true. The derivative of a constant times something is equal to the constant times the derivative of that something. And then she finds that the derivative with respect to x of x is 1. And that's true. If, if the slope, if you had the graph of y equals x, the slope there is 1. Or what's the rate of change at which x changes with respect to x? Well, it's going to be 1 for 1. So the slope here is 1. So this is going to be 5 times 1, which is equal to 5. And at the end, they just say, what step did Avery make a mistake? So she clearly made a mistake at step 1. This right of here should have been a negative. If that's a negative, then that would have been a negative. Then this would have been a negative. Then that would have been a negative. And then her final answer should have been, should have been a negative 5. Now let's go back to Hannah to see if she made any mistakes and where. So she's differentiating a similar expression. So first she takes the derivative of the constant plus the derivative of the first degree term. Derivative of a constant is 0. That looks good. So you get the 0 and then you have the derivative of the first degree term. That's what she's trying to figure out. And then, let's see, she's taking, okay, so this, this seems off. She is assuming that the derivative of a product is equal to the product of the derivatives. That is not the case. And especially, and it's, if you have a constant here, there's actually a much simpler way of thinking about it. Frankly, the way that Avery thought about it. Avery had made a mistake at step one. But this is actually going to be equal to the derivative of a constant times an expression is equal to the same thing as the constant times the derivative of, of the expression. So this would have been the correct way to go. And then the derivative of x with respect to x, well, that's just going to be 1. So this should have all simplified to 8. What she did is she, is assume, she tried to take the derivative of 8 and multiply that times the derivative of x. That is not the way it works. In the future, you will learn something called the product rule. But you don't even have to apply that here because one of these, one of these components, I guess you could say, is a constant. So this is the wrong step. This is where Hannah makes a mistake. And you can see, instead of getting a final answer of 8, she is getting a final answer of, she assumes, well, the derivative of 8 is 0 times the derivative of x is 1, 0 times 1, and she gets 0, which is not the right answer. So she makes a mistake at step 3, and Avery made a mistake at step 1.